Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 130, working with lookups in Liquid. Liquid is a fantastic language for reading and displaying data from Dataverse on your Power Apps Portal. Once you've retrieved a particular row from Dataverse, for example, by using fetch XML, by going through the entities object, or by referencing the global user object, you can get the value of its columns by using either the dot notation or via the indexer syntax. For many column types, using either of these syntaxes will give you the value of the column. For example, if you want the first name of the currently logged in user, you can do user.firstName. However, there are some column types that are a bit different, including lookups and choices. In this tip, I'll cover lookups. Lookups are when a table has a single reference to another table. In a database, this would be a foreign key. When your column is a lookup, the value of the liquid object when you reference the column name isn't a simple type like a text or number. Instead, it is an object with multiple properties. The three properties you can reference when using a lookup column are ID, name, and logical underscore name, which represent the ID of the related record, the name or primary field of the related record, and the logical name of the associated table, respectively. Typically, the ID is used if you want to perform any sort of conditional logic, and the name is used for display purposes. If you attempt to output the lookup column without further referencing one of these properties, you'll see nothing, as there's no string representation of the object itself. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portal's tip number 130 on working with lookups in Liquid useful.